Hi, hi. Hello. How are you today? Fine, fine. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Everything is okay, teacher. Excellent. Nice, nice, nice. Otro gecko. Hay fábrica de geckos aquí en el puesto. My cat is always behind the geckos. And we are trying to keep the geckos. They are coming to my room where I teach. So one day you will listen to a lot of geckos around. Well, nice to see you. Nice to see you today. It's our class number eight, right? Class number eight. I'm going to call you and see if everybody here. Hmm. Okay, tell me present, Bella Lisbeth. Bella present. Bella. Present. Present. Okay. Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Darling, darling, no here, darling. Then we have a nine. Darling, then we have a nine. Mm -hmm. De eh, Edgar Eduardo. Edgar Eduardo. Gabriel Stephanie. Present. Germán Agustín. Present, teacher. Jessica Raquel. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Carla Maria. Present. Kelly Marcela. Kelly. Marcelo Larimir. Present teacher. Mauricio. Mauricio Giovanni. Mauricio, Mauricio, no Miguel Efraín. Present teacher. Moisés Elías. Norma Maritza. Pedro. Present teacher. Ronald Josué. Present. Sabrina Lisbeth. Sabrina. Tamara Lisset, Waldemar, Waldemar, no, no está Waldemar, Walter Antonio. Washer, tampoco está. Bueno, okay. Teacher, teacher, good morning, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hi, hi, Edward. Present teacher. Okay, yeah, I saw you. I saw okay. you that you're here. Nice, nice, nice. Bueno, 
We are beginning with getting uh, another day. Remember, I told you this is our class number. What number? Vamos a ver. Number what? eight. Number eight, exactly. We are on class number eight. And today we are going to talk about may and might, how to use may and might. And of course, we are going to make a review of a previous, previous class, talking about can and could yesterday, right? Okay, how to use can and could. And today, how to use may and might, that's the topic. And the objective, participants will be able to prepare a short conversation in which they are showing dissatisfaction about a product they received or vote in a hypothetical situation. So you're going to create a conversation pretending that you bought something to be online, right? That you bought something that you're not happy with what you bought. So you are dissatisfied in your conversation, right? So you're going to see uh, some of the phrases that you need to use when uh, talking when talking about a satisfaction or dissatisfaction. Is it raining in your house? Is it raining in your house? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Here too, it is raining and I guess, uh, well, maybe it's not so, so strong, but right now it came. So yeah, it is raining in your house too? Yes. No, in my no. house, no. no. Not in your house. Okay, not in your house, but here, no. yes, it is. Okay, bueno, let's see. I have a review exercise for you. I'm going to share it there in the in the chat. And what you're going to do here is decide, right? Decide if you need to complete the sentences using can or using could, right? Remember, that's uh, what we were talking about yesterday, can or could. So look at the sentences. I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to discuss and be ready to share with your partners about uh, which is the best answer for each of the sentences. Okay? Let me see. Just let me open my WhatsApp in the computer because it's not open. And I'm going to share it in the WhatsApp group. And then in your groups, you will decide which is the best option to complete each of the sentences, right? There we go. Okay. I'm going to send you in groups of four so you can help each other and give support one another. Let me see. You're 17, yeah, four, four, four. Yeah, four groups. There will be one group of five because you're 17 right now. 
Uh, I hope everybody gets ready to enter the rooms. There you go. Join. Remember the sentences are in the chat. Carla María, Marcelo, Pedro, Mauricio. Carla María. Pedro. Thank you, Pedro. La primera, eh, creo que, no, no sé si estarán de acuerdo, es I could, I could be go to the party last night because I was sick. I was, I was, sí, I could. Yes. Yeah, I, think, I think so too. I can't be. Uh, hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Sorry. <laughs> remember, uh, remember that you're using can or could to complete can the sentence. Uh -huh. okay. Can or could. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, teacher. teacher. Okay. The second. Uh, can. Can oil. Italian food. Yes, you can. No sé, hay que Está bien, I can be, I can be. Yes. No, él, no, él could. No, pero creo que no, ahí creo que no, él es el nombre, teacher. Sí, no, él. No, él, así se llama. El nombre, papá Noel. Sí. <risa> papá Noel. Ah, no, entonces es, es, es este, sí, es una interrogante. Ajá, ahí no, ahí no es, wish. ahí no es. Ahí no es con el verbo be, sino que solo sería can o cool. Ajá, exactly. Ayúdenos, Jessica. Para mí sería cool, Noel, could Italian food. Ajá, y Jessica. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Cuando se hace la interrogante con cool, teacher, también... Cool, tenemos que responder. Yes, he cool. Depende. Depende. Okay. Si están hablando de un request, por ejemplo, si le digo, could I open the door? Entonces me dice, sure, no problem. Pero si está preguntando como possibility o ability, entonces sí ocupa que no cude en la respuesta. Mm, okay. Ya iba a depender del tipo de pregunta que está haciendo. Ok, gracias, teacher. Para mí así sería, compañeros. No sé si están de acuerdo. Sí, está bien. Sí. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Cool, Noel, cook, Italian food. Italian food, como es interrogante, food. Yes, he cool. 
Sí, eso de acuerdo. My sister cool. 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 Swing. Ah, no, no, este, este, my. Swing. Sí, sí, cool. But now she can. Yes. Cool can, ok. Number. ¿De acuerdo, Edgar? Sí, está bien, compañero. Bella también está de acuerdo. Hi. 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 Hello, Bella. Hello. Hi, compañera. <laughs> ¿Qué tal? Está de acuerdo. Ok. <laughs> sí, sí. Sí. Ahora, yeah. number five. It's an answer. No, number four. Ah, four, yes. Bye. I forget yesterday. They could go shopping yesterday because my store was closed. The school? School? It could be. They could be go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. They could go. Sin el B. Sin el B, teacher. Sí, porque ya le estoy dando el verbo. Oh, okay. I go. They could go. Uh, I go shopping. Bueno. <laughs> sí. They could, they could go shopping. They could go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. Number five. Number five. Can, can you read? Can you read when you were four years old? Mm, no, no. Le ha, es no, pasado, no, es pasado. Cool. Yes. Cool. 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 Vaya, algo, algo que quiero que, que creo, no sé si ustedes me, me puedan corregir. Algo que aprendí ayer, lo que nos enseñaba la teacher, es que cuando algo está en tiempo pasado, es cool. Yes. ¿Sí? Sin duda. Entonces, cuando okay. ustedes yes. digan que uh, dice for you all, o sea, está hablando que algo que ya pasó. Atrás, ok. Así, eso yes. es lo que yo entendí, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok, thank you. All right. Ok, sería cool. Y, uh, they... y la respuesta sería, yes, I, I cool. Yes, I cool. De acuerdo. Yes, I agree. Number okay. six. Ellie can, can, can. Ellie can write a bad musical. Sí, bicycle. ese es bicycle. presente. Es una acción presente, sí. Ellie can, can ride a bicycle. Bicycle. She rides, no, ahí sí ya me perdí. She rides it sí. to school every day. I am, ella va o maneja la acción. Hace la escuela todos los días. En bicicleta, right? Creo sí. que en bicicleta. Sí, es como. Ese es solo para ampliar que si sí puede. Uh -huh. Sí. Ahí. Hello. Hello, hello. Tamara, Pedro, Ronald, hello. Hello, teacher. Are you working here? Hello, teacher. Recién me voy conectando. No sé qué vamos a trabajar. En el chat les puse lo que están trabajando, Tamara. Ahorita veo. Pedro, Pedro. Pedro creo que cambió de, de, de equipo. Hi, Pedro. Hello.
Vaya, me la llevo entonces, Tamara, porque veo que está. Hello, I am, I am Ronald. Ay, Ronald, hoy sí estamos, Ronald. Teacher. Ay. ¿Me escucha? Sí. Sí, es que estaba teniendo problemas con... Sí, este, la imagen que está en, cambié... en WhatsApp. Sí, vi que se conectó de otro equipo. Sí, sí, pero en ese creo que sí, porque el otro me está dando problemas. Va, ok. Ahorita vamos a empezar a trabajar. Vaya, the sentences are in the... Están en, en el chat de WhatsApp. Ok, teacher. Y aquí vamos a trabajar con todo lo que hemos visto anteriormente, ¿verdad? Solo Ken and could. Ken and could. Ken and could. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Ajá, Ahorita este vamos a review yesterday's class, exacto. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, pues ahorita vamos a empezar a trabajar. No sé si Tamara habrá visto ya el archivo. Sí, ahorita ya, ya lo revisé. ¿Eh? Eh, solo que... En... Sí, ahorita ya lo tengo. Ya lo tengo. Ok. Este, en el primero para mí sería I could, I could go to the party last night because I was sick porque está en, en pasado. Aquí está Waldemar, no sé si está. Sería Cus. Yes, teacher. Uh, sorry. For me, for me it's Cus because it's in the past. Okay. If somebody uh, can share the screen, that would be wonderful. No. Uh -huh. What about number two? The number two for me is Ken. Pero lean la oración completa. Okay, sería Ken Noel cook Italian food? Yes, he can. Mm -hmm. The three sería my sister cook swimming last year. But no, she. No, sería. Couldn't. My sister couldn't swim last year. But no, she. She can. She can. Mm -hmm. But no, she can. Ah, go for the next one. No sé si, si ahí los compañeros ya resolvieron eso. Number four sería they, they could go shopping. Mm -hmm. They could go shopping. They could go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. Ah, continue, 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 no me hagan pausas, continue. Eh, number five sería, can you read when you were four years old? Uh -huh. Yes, I can.
لا لا سي سريا إلي كرين راي أباري أباري بسيكول شي راي إتو سكول أبري تاي Hey, Seria, could you see the moon last night? No, I couldn't. No, I couldn't. Very good. The night is... When can I talk to the about the company report? The next is, excuse me, I can hear you right now. The music is too low, low. It's too blur. Uh -huh. uh, number 11 is I can drive a truck when I was only 16 years old. Number 12, how many hot dogs can you eat at one time? How many hot dogs can you eat? At one time. At a time. Out of time. How many hot dogs can you eat at a time? How many hot dogs can you eat at a time? Mm -hmm. Y la última sería, I can't build without my reading glasses. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? they? Mm -hmm. Where are they? Uh -huh. Continue with the other one. Esa era la última. Okay, great. Any question over there? No question. It could is como, como pasado, ¿verdad? Podría. Ajá. Podría. Es podría. Podría. Teacher, es podría y es como... La traducción sería como no pude. Por ejemplo, en la... En la número tres, my sister eh, es cool, de verdad. No podía. No pudo. No pudo. No pudo o no podía, depende, vea, de la situación. My sister no podía hacer cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? No okay. podía. Ajá. Ok, perfecto. Okay. I always see. Ready. Amanos. Let's go. Let's go.
Ready. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds, and everybody will be back. Ready. Ready, teacher. Ready, teacher. But yeah, nice, nice. And sure. But yeah, checking. I I could couldn't <laughs> negative oh. I couldn't go to the party last night I was sick number two cool mm -mm, I can no can can mm -hmm. Noel cook Italian food Yes, he. Can. Yes, he can. My sister. Can. My sister, mm, last year. Who? Negative. Okay. My eh, no, no puede ser. <risa> está, las está poniendo en negativo. Because now she can. Sí. My sister couldn't swim last year, but now she can. O si me dicen, my sister could swim last year, but now she can't. ¿Verdad? Eh, eh, depende. En un año se le olvidó cómo nadar. Sí. Entonces ahí, ahí, ahí depende. Pero este podemos ponerla en negativo because probably last year she didn't know how to swim, but now she knows. So she couldn't swim last year, but now she can. What about number four? They 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 can. They could not, teacher. They couldn't, verdad? They couldn't go shopping yesterday. Because the story was closed. Uh huh. They couldn't go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. Number yes. five. Uh -huh. Ooh. Can you read? Can you read or could you read? Could you read? Exactly. Could you read? Could you read when you were four years old? Yes, I. Yes. Ooh. Yes, I could. Ellie? Mm -hmm. Ken. Ellie Ken. Ellie Ken. 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 
Ellie can ride the bicycle and she rides it to school every day. I'm very tired, so. I can't go out to the park to play. Mm -hmm. So I can't go out to the park to play. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Could you see the moon last night? Could you see the moon last night? No, I? No, I couldn't. I couldn't. When? When? When can I told to you about the company report? Uh huh. When can I talk to you about the company report? Excuse me. I can't hear you right now. The music is too low. Uh huh. I can't hear you right now. The music is too loud. Very good. I I couldn't drive a truck when I, I was only 60 years old. Exactly. I couldn't drive a truck when I was only six years old. Mm -hmm. Number 12. How many hot dogs? How many hot dogs can you eat at one time? Mm -hmm. How many hot dogs can you eat? How many hot dogs can you eat? I can eat only one. What about you? How about Two. you? One. <laughs> one. One. <laughs> Only one. No, okay. five, seven, <laughs> ten. How many choripanes can you eat at a time? Okay, number three. Number three. Yeah. I. I can't. I can't read without my reading glasses. Where are they? I, that happens to me. I can't read without my glasses. Negative. Without glasses, no teacher. <laughs> I cannot. See. Well, in the computer, it's easier, right? Because you can make the letter bigger. But out of the computer, it's very difficult. Okay. Nice, nice. No questions? Mm -hmm. No questions? No questions? No. Why not? <laughs> no. Easy, teacher. Easy. That's easy. I know. It's very, very easy. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Now I have some questions for you. How was the last purchase you did? Remember, purchase is uh, shopping, verdad? La última compra que hizo. How was it? Were you satisfied or dissatisfied? Mm -hmm. How was it? How was the last purchase you did? ¿Te acuerdan? La última compra que hicieron. 
Dissatisfy for me. Dissatisfy. Why? Because the shoes mm, me salieron mal. Oh, they were not good. <laughs> they were not good. Okay. What about the others? How was the last food chase you did? Teacher, I am satisfied. You're satisfied with the last shopping. Okay. And the others? What about the others? Huh? Uh -huh, uh -huh. How was the last shopping? The last shopping. Good, bad. Okay, tell me about a customer. If you sell any products in your... If you, if you sell any products in your company, what imagine something that you that you sold now not what you bought but what you sold was the customer satisfied or dissatisfied mm -hmm. about something you sold in your company do you remember we have some options here that you can see how satisfied you are with the product. The value of the product is excellent, good, poor, very poor. Write your opinion about the product's quality, high quality, average, low quality, very low quality. Will you continue using this product? Yes, okay. And here we have a survey, right? This is this is a customer's experience. And then you say, how satisfied are you with product, with this product? Very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, or very dissatisfied. The customer said, dissatisfied. Write your opinion about the product's quality. You have the high quality, average, low quality, or very low quality. And the answer given by the customer was very low quality. The value of this product is excellent, good, poor, very poor. And the customer said poor. Will you continue using this product? Yes or no? The customer said no. Okay, so what do you think about this customer? What is the result of this survey? Uh huh. You have a couple of questions to answer about that. So in your mind, and you see these questions, you can go back to the to the survey and then you come to the questions, right? How was the customer's experience? Is the product good one or a bad one? Think about possible problems the customer has with the product. Mm -hmm.
teacher. Hola. Um, can I say that qualification don't satisfy uh, this product? Unsatisfied. Unsatisfied. It's unsatisfied. The customer is insatisfied. And, and, con un, Ans, unsatisfied. Uh, unsatisfied. Unsatisfied. Okay. The qualification is zero. Qualification? Zero. Mm. <laughs> sí, porque todo lo respondió malo. Sí, pues no sí. le gustó nada. Nada. No sirve, dice. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Ready. A ver, how was the customer's experience? How was the customer's experience? Tell me. It's a bad ex it's a bad experience because his expectation was not met. Exactly. Yeah. The customer's experience was bad, right? It was bad because he was dissatisfied. What about number two? Is the product a good one or a bad one? Uh-huh. It's a bad one. A bad one. It's a terrible product, right? Think about possible problems the customer had with the product. What possible product or what possible problems do you think the customer had with the product? We don't know what product it was, right? We don't know if it was a refrigerator, a washing machine, a, a, a stove. We don't know exactly what it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. The quality of product is very bad, and the attitude of the seller is no adequate. Adequate, no es adecuada. Uh -huh. Okay. What else? Uh -huh. The problem for me is that the price is too high. The price is too high, definitely. And the product is no good, right? Because it says that the quality is terrible. Mire, the quality. Mm -hmm. 
it has a very low quality, right? The value of the product is, okay. So we have this one. The value of the product was four choice, but was not very good, right? The product didn't have a good quality. It was of low quality. And the customer didn't like the product. He didn't like it because of the quality that was not very good. Okay. Questions here. Questions? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Well, today we are talking about May and night. When do we use May and when do we use night? So check. We are going to use these two models when we're talking about possibility, right? We can also use them to talk about permission. And look at examples. I may ask for a refund. It is possible. It is very possible that I ask for a refund. You may buy a different at a different store. You may buy at a different store. That's a possibility. They may not provide a good service. They may not. It may not reach your expectations. It is possible that it doesn't reach your expectations. And on the other side, you have might. She might want a refund on these units, of the, on those units. They might complain about the service. We might ask to talk with the supervisor. It is possible that we ask to talk to the supervisor. He might not buy here again. He might not buy here again. Okay. Any questions here? Mm -hmm. Possibility. Remember here, they are acting as possibility. And you have so many examples here. Check. When we are not sure, that's why we are it's talking about possibility or uncertainty. Uncertainty means I'm not sure, right, about something. When we are not sure about something in the present or future, we use may. Jack may be coming to see us tomorrow. He may be coming to see us tomorrow. Perhaps Jack will come to see us tomorrow. Perhaps it's similar to say maybe, yeah? So it is not very sure. Oh dear, it's half past 10. We may be late for the meeting. We may be late. Perhaps we will be late for the meeting. <laughs> Remember that perhaps means tal vez. Right, that's the meaning of perhaps, tal vez. So it is possible that we get late for the meeting. She has, she has had no sleep. She may be tired. Perhaps she's tired. Okay. Do you have any questions here? Questions. Mm -hmm. No questions? Now, both may and might can be used to express possibility. 
And here you have some examples. It might rain tonight. It might rain tonight again. You know, at the beginning of the class, it was raining, right? So it might rain later tonight again. She might not come to see the meeting, or she might not come to the meeting. Might, affirmative, might not in negative. It has no contraction. May not and might not have no contraction. That's not possible. I may need your help on this project. Maybe, maybe, right? There, it, there is a possibility. He may be waiting for us. He may be waiting for us. Remember yesterday we said that we can use could also to talk about possibility, right? And it has exactly the same meaning as may and might. If you say, teacher, and how do I know if I have to use may or might? Hmm. When talking about possibility, there is uh, no difference, right? No possibility. So when you have a, a, how can I say? When you're talking about possibility, there is no difference, right? Between may, might, and could. Possibility, may, might, and could. If we're talking about permission, we only use may, no might. But talking about possibility, we use may or might with the same meaning. To ask for permission in a formal way, use may. Yeah? That's in a formal way. You know that if you want to be informal, you can use can to talk or to ask for a permission, right? Can I go to the bathroom? Can I go out? That's permission, but it's informal. But if you want to be formal, you use may. May I borrow the car tomorrow? May we come a bit later? See? You're asking for permission in a formal way. To give permission in a formal way, the same, you use me. You may go now. You may come at 11 if you wish, right? That's the informal. So remember, may is formal. Can is informal, right? When talking about Permission. Now, we use might when we are not sure about something in the present or future. So, I'm not sure about, about it, I use might. My might see you tomorrow. I'm not sure if I will see you tomorrow. It looks nice, but it might be very expensive. I'm not sure for the price, so I don't know. It might be expensive or not. It's quite bright. It might not rain today. Possibility, right? That's a possibility. Now, I have a couple of exercises for you to do. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I might... Well, what are you going to do tonight, for example? If you say, what are you going to do tonight? What are you going to do tonight? I'm not sure. I might. I might watch TV. What are you going to do tonight? I'm not sure. I might watch TV. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to get in groups, right? And take turns asking your partners these questions. What are you going to do tomorrow morning? I'm not sure I might go shopping. 
what are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? I'm not sure. I might go to the gym. Okay. Go, go, go. I'm going to send you to the rooms. Be ready. Let's see. I will send you the, the information in the chat. Try to join. Moisés, si pudiera ponerse su nombre largo y completo, se pudiera ponerse su nombre largo y completo. Okay, teacher. I'm sharing. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to send you the two things because, no, I'm going to send you first one and then I'm going to share the other because I will change in groups. Join. Enjoy. The questions are in the chat. Try to join Jessica, Gabby, Norma. Sí. Sí. Okay. Sí, así. Hector is asking, right? Okay, teacher. The next. Mm -hmm. And the second area, what are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? And the letter. Ahí está la teacher. Le podemos preguntar si es in the morning o solo si cómo está la oración. Tomorrow morning. Only, only tomorrow morning. Sí, es que mañana en la mañana, ¿verdad? Pero Ajá, no es que pen no. pensábamos que podría ser tomorrow in the morning. No, cuando usted pone este, así la frase tomorrow, 
Si solo va a decir in the morning, dice in the morning, pero si lleva tomorrow, no le pone morning, no le pone in the, sino que eso es lo mismo. Tomorrow morning, okay. eh, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Uh -huh. okay, What did you do yesterday afternoon? Entonces no, se omite el in the. Ok. Sería... I am not sure I might go to the gym. And later, D. What are you going to do at noon tomorrow? I'm not sure I might have lunch with, with friends. Yes. While the mat is here. Yes, teacher, Hello. pero dice que tiene problemas con la garganta. No. Ah, es el otro compañero. Ajá, perdón. <ríe> sí, se incorporó uno más. Vamos, <ríe> Valdemar, Mar, you need to practice. Ok. Mm. Estamos en la letter. Sí. E. Yes. E. Ah, e. Mm -hmm. uh, sería, what are, you, what are you going to do next Saturday afternoon? No? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I am not sure. I might play soccer. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next one. What are you going to do? What are you going to do next Sunday? I'm not sure. I might go to, uh, excuse me. I'm not sure. I might go to church. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahora si quieren las leemos así para practicar la de repetir el sí. Eh, si gustan una cada uno. Okay. O, o nos las preguntamos y la otra persona hace la parte B. Está bien, así primero alguien pregunta y el otro responde. Ok, si gustas inicio con la primera. Está bien. Okay. What are you going to do tonight? I'm not sure. sure. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, yo pensé que en coro lo íbamos a decir, no se preocupe. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure I might wish to be. Yes. Ahora, si gusta, pregunta usted y, que, y contesta igual de más. What are you going to do tomorrow morning? I am not sure. I might go shopping. Mm. Go. Ahora voy a preguntar. Hay que ir conteste Ronald. Okay. What are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? I'm not sure. I might go to the gym. Okay. Ahora, Robert, si gusta hacer la, la siguiente pregunta. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What are you going to do at noon tomorrow? I'm not sure. I might have a lunch with friends. Ahora usted me pregunta a mí, Gaby. Yes. What are you going to do next Saturday afternoon? I'm not sure. I might play soccer. And the last? I, yo pregunto. Okay. What are you going to do next Sunday? I'm not sure I might go to church.
Está bien, teacher. Ay. Pues estamos bien entonces, chicos. Coming, coming. Okay, Mauricio, what are you going to do tonight? Mauricio Giovanni? Here, Mauricio. Amara, what are you going to do tonight? Tamara, 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 hello. No here, Tamara, either. Waldemar, what are you going to do tonight? Uh, I'm not sure. I might watch TV. Okay, thank you. Pedro, what are you going to do tomorrow morning? I'm not sure. I might to go shopping. I might to go shopping. Very good. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Gabriela, what are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? I'm not sure I might go to the gym. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. Dennis, what are you going to do at noon tomorrow? Dennis, what are you going to do at noon tomorrow? No here, Dennis. Okay, let's see. Uh, Pedro, what are you going to do at noon tomorrow? Pedro? I am not sure. I might have lunch with... Um, with my friend. Okay. Let's see, Beja, what are you going to do next Saturday afternoon? I am not sure I might go to church. Okay. Thank you. Moises, what are you going to do next Sunday? 
Uh, I am not sure. Um, I'm. I may play soccer. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's move. Check. Now remember, in the other one you were talking about possibility. Now you're talking about permission, right? So you will ask your partners, may I go out for a moment? And they will tell you, sure, feel free. They, you can say, sure, feel free. Sure, no problem. Go ahead. It's okay, right? So you can answer different ways. Or uh, you can say, mm, I prefer not. Right, if you say no, if you don't give permission. So if you notice, you don't say yes, you may. You say, sure, feel free, sure, no problem. Go ahead, it's okay. So you can uh, answer in different ways without saying yes, you may. Um, let's begin with uh, Gabriela. Gabby, you choose a partner and ask the question. So you will go like this. May I go out for a moment? And you wait for your partner, that is me, to answer. Okay? Gabby, you begin. Um, ahorita veo el listado. Con Jessica. Okay. May I go out for a moment? Sure. Okay. Feel free? As yes, teacher? Mm -hmm. Sure, yes. feel free. Okay. Now, yes, you can one. ask the next one. Choose, choose somebody and go for the second. May okay. Uh, Miguel Efraín. Okay. May I take a picture? Of your food? Sure, it's okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Now you ask the question to the next person. Question number three. Edgar Eduardo. Okay. Okay, ready. Okay. Uh, Edgar, do the homework now? No. Is used for number three. Mm -hmm. okay. May I do the homework, right? You go for the next. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. It's... Edgardo primero le responde a Miguel y después pregunta a otro compañero. Okay, teacher. La. Sure. Uh, go ahead, teacher. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Now you ask the next one. Um. Uh, Carlos. Carlos. Uh, may I ask? Do something? Carlos? It's not here. Hey, teacher. I'm just doing my work, teacher. Okay. Can you answer the question? He said, can I ask you something? You just give a short uh, answer. Moisés, teacher. Ready. Moisés. Hola. Moisés, este, may I ask you something? Uh, sure, always. Okay. okay. Moisés, your turn to ask somebody. Este, ok, no puedo ver, pues estoy en mi teléfono, no veo quién está, pero... Eh, si me... borro, ah, to see who are here. You can Ajá. ask, ya le cuento quiénes están por aquí. Le puede preguntar a Waldemar, a quién, okay. 
Pedro. Ok, Waldemar, eh, Waldemar, may I borrow your book for a while? Sure. Uh, feel free? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Waldemar, you ask the next question. Okay. okay. Ahí está Bella, ahí está Pedro. Bella. Bella. Uh, Bella. May I take one of those cookies? Sure, feel free. Okay, nice. Now, Bella, ask Kelly. Kelly, may I read your new paper? Sure, feel free. Nice, nice. Thank you, Bella. No, Kelly. Now we go for the next one, right? May we have lunch here? Sure. May we stay here during lunchtime? When may we see you after class? May we get together in the hallway? Now, Kelly, you ask Ronnie. Um, yo le pregunto a alguien, va? Sí, usted le pregunta a Ronald. Ronald. May we have lunch here? Sure, no problem. Okay, thank, thank you. Ronald. Now, Ronald, you ask Norma. Okay. May we stay here during lunch time? Norma, hello. Norma, Norma. Norma, 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 no hear Norma. Ask Marcelo then. Marcelo. Marcela. Marcelo. Wait. Marcelo. So may we stay here during last time? Mm -hmm. May we stay here? Estoy en una reunión, teacher, por eso es que no he podido contestarles. Mm -hmm. Okay, Norma is in a meeting too. Norma, Norma, hello. Norma, hi, hi. No here. Okay, ask Miguel. Okay. Repeat the question to Miguel. Okay. Maybe. Mi Miguel, <clears throat> may we stay here during now, sign? Mm -hmm. May we stay here during lunch time? And Miguel says? Sure, no problem. Sure, no problem. Thank you, Miguel. And Miguel, go for the next question. Ask Walter. Uh, Walter. Um. We see the next question, teacher. See you after class. May we see, see you. you? May we see you after okay. class? Okay. Uh, with Walter, huh? See, si, see si, Walter. Walter, may we see you after class? Walter. Hello, 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 teacher. I'm fine. May we see you after class, he said. Uh, see you after class. Mm -hmm. You can say no. <laughs> not necessarily, <laughs> right? So you can say no. I prefer not. Oh, sorry. I have a meeting after class. So I won't be ready, right? Okay. 
What would be your answer, Walter? Sorry, sorry, teacher, sorry. Ahorita, ahorita me estoy poniendo los audífonos que estoy aquí llegando. Estamos <ríe> llegando. Vaya. Cambio aquí nada más la, la ubicación. Another, another question. Um, May we see you after class was the question that they asked. Uh, Tendría que hacer otra, otra pregunta, teacher. Uh, primero responde uh, eso. Uh -huh. Le puede decir sure o le puede decir uh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I can't. I will be busy after class. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I can, I can get to ah, ah, no, sir, no problem. O oh, este caso, con, responder conforme a la, a la pregunta. Que... <laughs> sí, okay. sí, sí, uh -huh. puede dar una respuesta afirmativa o negativa, right? Sí, no sí. necesariamente tiene que sure. decir que sí, siempre. Ah, sí, o oh, oh, mm, sure, no, no problem. <laughs> Así. Okay. okay. Now you ask. Quien me quedó sin responder. No sé, ¿A quién le preguntamos? A Edgar. Hasta ok, teacher. Hi. Vaya, le va a preguntar Walter, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, Walter, ask Edgar this, the last one. May we... Uh, um, Edgar, ¿va? Sí. Edgar, they do uh, uh, Edgar, uh, are you as as your son? Uh, <laughs> do, do you do, do, do you go to the working uh, the weekend the week? May we go to the movies on the weekend? You said. Ah, the movies, weekend to the movies. <laughs> do, do you have to go to the weekend the the movie? <laughs> Sure, no problem. <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. You see, you can ask for permission using may, pero para permission no podemos usar might, verdad? Solo may. For possibility, no problem. You can use might and you can use may. Yeah, you can substitute. I'm not sure I may watch TV, or I'm not sure I might watch TV. So you are uh, free to use any of both. But for permission, only may, because we want to be formal. If no, you can use can, but that would be very informal. Okay, now is your time to work. You're going to create sentences using the words provided. Remember, we're using may or might. Yes, write a complete, uh, a compliment when needed. He may not be satisfied about his purchase, for example. Uh, about his purchase, no está aquí, pero usted lo agrega para que la oración tenga así como más sentido. De repente le va a hacer falta un article o alguna letra que puede usted utilizar también, ¿verdad? Go ahead. Let's try the questions. O oh, sentences, depending on the situation. Mm -hmm.
Let me know when you finish, right? So we can check it. Okay, what's number one? He 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 not be satisfied. He remember we have to use may or might, verdad? He my he. Is it a question? No, it's a sentence. So yes, he. Wait. he, he Mm -hmm. He no, my he, my he, but it's not a question, it's a sentence. Yes, yes, it's a sentence. So you begin with he, he might be negative, not be, not be. He might not be, yeah. He might not be. He might not be. I said this. He might not be. Satisfied. He might not be satisfied. He might not be satisfied about what? He might not be satisfied.
Mm. The quality the the product about the quality of the product. Yes. Mm, about the quality of the product. Mm -hmm. the product. Okay, what about number two? The warranty belonger. The warranty belongs. The warranty. Yes, the warranty may. See, remember here, no problem, right? You can use may or you can use might. The warranty may belong. Maybe longer. So yeah, be longer to two months, for for example. Ah, eso se lo podemos agregar antes. The the warranty maybe two years longer. Two years. Dos años más grande, más grande. Okay. Because usually the warranty is for about a year. That's the most they give. But it can be two years long. Okay. Um, what about number three? Mm -hmm. Number three. The service. Uh -huh. The service. Make now, make now. Make that be excellent. May not. May not. Mm -hmm. Puede ser may or might. Make that may not be excellent. Okay. Y no necesitaría eso. A menos que usted diga the customer service may not be accepted. Okay. What about number four? You. You may recommend. Mm -hmm. You may recommend. Okay. Mm. This product. Okay. You may recommend. You may recommend this part. Very good. The waiter be in a hurry. The waiter. Mm -hmm. The waiter. Okay. Usemos might esta vez. Porque hemos estado usando may en la mayoría. The waiter might. Might que. The waiter might. Not be in a hurry. Uh -huh. Might not be in a hurry. Hablamos el negativo. 
<ríe> este siento que cuesta, Tiki. Esto pues, siento que cuesta en estas oraciones. Ajá. Este, recuerden que pueden usar medio, pueden usar much, ¿verdad? El waiter puede estar a prisa o puede estar, puede no estar a prisa. What is Harry, teacher? Harry es que está de prisa, tiene, tiene prisa. Está acelerado el waiter. Gracias. Imagine like. Um, in, 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 teacher, in Spanish, el mesero no, no, no está, está apurado. Uh -huh. No uh -huh. está de prisa. Uh -huh. Puede no estar de prisa. Uh -huh. Puede Según no estar de prisa. Sí. Probability. Uh -huh. Sí. Puede no estar de prisa. Eh, recuerden que este. Bueno, aquí lo pusimos en negative, ¿verdad? Puede estar afirmativo. The waiter might be in a hurry. Como cuando usted va al banco, que faltan cinco minutos para que cierren y para que hagan el corte y digan goodbye. They might be in a hurry. Right? The teller might be in a hurry. Están ya corriendo, y eso era eso. Así es the waiter. He might be in a hurry. What about Amanda? Mm, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Pongámosle might. Amanda might not. Might not use qué? Um, ¿Qué, ¿Qué nos haría falta? The computer. Ajá. Uh -huh. Amanda may not use the computer. Sí. Amanda may not use the computer. Wicked. Any question here? About Amanda? Questions, questions. No question. No fácil. ¿Verdad que sí? ¿O no? Ok, repeat. He may, he might not be satisfied about the quality of the product. He might, he might not be satisfied about the quality of the product. The warranty may be two years longer. The warranty may be two years longer. The service may not be excellent. The service may not be excellent. You may recommend this product. May recommend may this, this product. product. The water might not be in a hurry. The water might not be in a hurry. Waiter, the water, the heaven. Waiter. <laughs> the water, correct. The water, the, okay, the waiter might not be in a hurry. The waiter might not be in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Amanda might not use the computer. Amanda, Amanda might, might not use the computer. computer. Okay, very good. No questions? Hmm? No questions? No teacher. No teacher. Vaya, now I'm going to send you to the rooms the last time. I'm showing you what you will do. Remember at the beginning we saw uh, expressions of being satisfied or dissatisfied. You're going to make a conversation, you as a group, will make a conversation where you are dissatisfied with a product that you bought and say what you may do 
about it or what you might do about it. Okay, ready, ready? Yes. You will create a conversation where you are dissatisfied about a product that you bought and say what you may do about it or what you might do about it. There we go. I'm going to send you now to the rooms. Check. I'm going to make new rooms. Please activate yourself in the groups. You will have five minutes to make your conversation, right? Five minutes and then I call you back. Moises, try to join, Bella, Gaby, Marcelo, try to join. Sí, creo que sí, hagámoslo así, planteemos la, la conversación y la, y la convertimos para, para ya empezar a, a encontrar el, 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 el... Sí, correcto. Dicen otros compañeros, sí. Están ahí. ¿Qué, ¿Qué piensan, compañeros? Sí, está bien. Hey, pero, pero, pero vaya, vaya, vaya. Pero pónganse todos en el traductor, busquen allí, escriban algo en Google y de, pónganle traducir, ahí les va automáticamente los va a poner en, en un traductor. Esa trampa. Eso. <risa> no, es que no, sí. Nadie se, no dice la teacher. No, teacher. <risa> Why, teacher? Mala idea, esta. <risa> Ok, teach. Mala idea. Use your language. No, no se preocupen que se equivoquen o que les cueste un poquito más, pero no, si usted se mete al, al traductor de Google, esa cosa no sabe inglés. Le va a dar unas ideas que no tienen sentido. Nah. Oye, así que no se acostumbren al Google Translate. Ok, teach. Ustedes pueden más que Google. Nos cachó, teach. Bueno, me cachó a mí. <risa> Ustedes pueden más que Google. Vamos, vamos. Confíen pues, en ustedes. Yo confío en ustedes. Okay. Conversación. ¿Cómo voy a decir de lo que haces en tu trabajo? O algo? Sí, de cualquier Gracias. producto que han comprado. Acuérdense, de cualquier producto que han comprado. Y, mm. sí, y pueden revisar las frases que usamos al principio. ¿Verdad? You say, you know what? I bought a... Uh, uh, a washing machine last week. And how was it? Did you like it? No, the product was terrible. And the quality was very poor. So ahí pueden usar esas frases. ¿Verdad? Adelante, okay. adelante. Es in Google Translate. <laughs> okay. Vaya. Si usted comenzó, tratemos de... Hablamos de un producto que compramos, ¿no? Yes. Uh, for example, the shoes. Ah, correcto. Perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. Okay. In my case, uh, I am satisfied because uh, uh, one day I, I was a, a store uh, by a pay, a pay sure um when I'm use uh, the shoes is uh, no estaban, estaban despegados teacher como dice eh, la suela the shoes were not sewed correctly okay. no estaban bien cosidos verdad the, ah. the shoes is no should should that's you should correct you. <laughs> bueno, como dice la teacher, eh, 
the guarantee no 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 don't have they they are no had a uh, guarantee uh, i don't was a a reclaim by shoes this is my uh, this is my, my case one day templo no sé a ustedes qué les habrá pasado alguna vez si han comprado zapatos también a los cabales despegados <risa> despegados sí. ah, oh, with como... <risa> ah, sí despegados despegados Ajá. compañeros ¿qué, qué opinan qué dicen eh, sometimes when you buy shoes or clothes eh, eh, como si what, what do you say rota rota mm -hmm. roto roto rip roto rip uh, rip, rip. Mm -hmm. rip. Uh, when you buy in, in the shopping center no no, no have warranty exactly that's in no no was like guaranteeing only no no garan no tiene garantía ahí <laughs> eh, no. an an another another um case um lo que está preguntando creo, creo que esta es uy ya no vaya no pero es que lo que hizo es lo que acabamos de hacer Moisés en lo en lo que dice en el número 6 en el rombo número 6 ah sí sí crea, crea una conversación exacto ¿sí? de tu de Ah, ese es, va. Sí. Ay, Dios mío, pero... Dice, no. y después dice en el cuadrito, ahora yo puedo tener, no puedo hacer y preguntar la opinión acerca acerca de un customer que es comprador, acerca de una compra. Sí, un cliente. Ah, un cliente, perdón, satisfecho de un producto. Ah, pero ese ya es el, el resultado de la conversación. Sí. Eh, digamos, si le preguntamos cómo, arriba parece que había una pregunta de cómo, de si estaba satisfecho o no satisfecho. Eh, eh, he, puede ser he... He made tú o tú estás aquí. No, yo es te no, pregunto. Es no satisfecho. Eh. Ah, dice no satisfecho, ajá, ah, con el producto. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo te preguntara, vos, you, eh, dijera tú estás, este, Miguel, you are satisfied, uh, satisfied with your cell phone. Ah, ok. No. I am, I am, this is, this is defined with my cell phone because the battery is very, very short. Uh -huh. Short the time. Micro, the, um, yeah, okay. and warranty, um, uh, and the warranty, uh, you are satisfied, satisfied? Um, I am, I am, I am. I am not satisfied. This is so. I am dissatisfied because the it's, it's too short that okay the of warranty. Okay, uh, to ver otro sería um the service the company that you you line this the cell phone uh, uh, you are satisfied. I am. This is this is the. Is satisfied with the with the yes, I the service. Teléfono no tiene memoria suficiente. Ajá. Eso es lo que quiero decir. Okay. Yes. Podría ser. Eso es algo de insatisfacción. No estamos satisfechos con el teléfono porque uno en un teléfono busca que tenga suficiente almacenamiento. Ajá. Y ahora podemos unir lo que ustedes han dicho también. 
Okay. ¿Qué tenemos entonces? Arrancamos con... Ahorita. The storage, Kelly. Mande. The storage. The storage. Así se dice, storage. Es el almacenamiento, no sé. Storage. Ay, y yo, yo como no sabía esa palabra, no, no, no la tenía en la mente, puse memory. Ajá, es the storage. Sí, porque... Ahorita es... la cambio, teacher. El storage es el almacenamiento que, que usualmente, bueno, que trae y, el espacio para almacenar. Sí. Y estaría bien así. Sí, sí. You may, you may know that the cell phone don't have and no storage. Ajá, doesn't have. That the cell phone doesn't have. Uh -huh. Por ser, eh, digamos, tercera, per, primera, tercera persona, it. Doesn't have enough storage. Doesn't have enough storage. Entonces, iniciaríamos con I might want to buy a new cell phone. Uh -huh. <laughs> o I might need to buy, ¿verdad? Si es que necesitan comprarse otro. Bueno. ¿Cómo dijo Gabriela la primera? One minute. I'm almost, almost, almost. Eighteen seconds. Carla Maria, hello. <laughs> right, let's see, let's see. A ver, who will be my first group? Well, who will be my volunteers? I guess we will have only one group to chair. Volunteers, victims. Volunteers or victims? Ajá. A ver, Carla María, give me a number from one to four. From one to four, one, two, three, four. Which um, one? Four. Four. Four will be... Es un grupo muy bien, Carlita. That would be Jessica, Raquel, Carla María, Marcelo y Sabri. Yo, yo me escogí a mí misma. Yes. Me necesita, ha sido una rifa de un regalo. Todos le hubieran dicho, no, it's no fair. Pero como era para... Yo, de hecho, yo siempre he tenido la suerte de sacar el número uno. Imagine. En las rivas de exposiciones. Ok, great. Ready, ready to share. Go, yes, go. Yes. Jessica, Carla, Marcelo y Sabrina, right? Oh, ahead. Jessica. Ready, teacher. Ok. Um, Hello, this is Jessica. Uh, imagining that I am, uh, Carla and I, uh, estamos en un almacén, okay? Hello, this is Jessica. How can I help you? Hi, I'm satisfied with my purchase. Why? Because my blues is too small for me. So sorry. Excuse me, might be confusing of size. Oh, okay. Only teacher. Solo usamos el mic al final. Pudo haber sido una confusión en la talla. That's okay. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. A ver, 
choosing one more. Hey, Jessica, give me another number. So one, two, three. Okay, uh, Kelly. Kelly, group number three, Kelly. Gabriela, Stephanie, Herman, and Kelly. Yes. <laughs> Pero nosotros no le entendimos así, teacher. Go ahead, go ahead. Nosotros sacamos lo que fueron con, con don Herman y, y Gabriela. Uh -huh. Tres oraciones de lo que nosotros podríamos decir nos insatisface de un, del, del producto que compramos. A ver, tell me. Don Germán, la primera oración que usted dio, eh, no, Gabriela fue, es, I may, I may want to buy a new cell phone, de que ella iba a comprar su primer, un nuevo no, teléfono. Uh -huh. Y Don Germán dijo, you may don't buy it model. Entonces, you may not. You, you may, may not. Don't. Uh -huh. You may not. You may don't buy it model. May not. It model. May not. Y... En el don't, Kelly. Okay. May not. May don't. May not. But... I may not mm -hmm. buy, but... buy mm -hmm. it model. Y yo terminé con, you may know that the cell phone doesn't have a no storage. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And of course, Gabi is dissatisfied, right? Okay, nice. Let's go to the last attendance of the day. Save. Salvados por la campana, right? Saved by the bell. Tell me Thanks. present. Thanks, teacher. Yeah, okay. Bella Lisbeth here. Bella Lisbeth, Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Darling Jasmine. Darling, no here, darling today. Dennis Adonai. Edgar. Present. Present teacher. Okay. Gabriela Stephanie. Present. Herman Agustin. Present teacher. Jessica. Present teacher. Carla Maria. Present teacher. Kelly Marcela. Present teacher. Marcelo Vladimir. Marcelo. Mauricio Giovanni. Mauricio. Miguel Efraín. Present teacher. Moisés Elías. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Norma Maritza. Pedro Antonio. Ronald Josué. Present. Ronald is here. Sabrina. Ronald Josué, present. Present, Sabrina, present. Sabrina, okay. Nice, nice. Tamara. Tamara, Tamara, Waldemar. Present teacher, good Mar night. Good night. Okay, well, and today. Present teacher, Walter. Walter, yeah, Walter. Okay, and today stays with me, Jessica, okay, right? See you. See you. Bye, teacher. Good Bye. night, everybody. Good night. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. How are you? Me dijo present, Pedro. Pedro. Ah, Pedro es el que tiene problemas con el micrófono. Bye. Okay, eh, tell me, Jessica, how are you? 
Hi, teacher. Hi. I often I feel exhausted. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> and I have a lot of responsibilities in the office. And I think sometimes I I don't go to the work and I stop. I need to sleep. I I need to vacation. On oh, yesterday, you asked me the question. Um, yeah, I asked you about vacation. When are your vacations? At the end of the year, you told me, right? Yes, in April, but I have eh, casi nunca me tomo las vacaciones, teacher. Excuse me, voy a hablar las palabras nada más que pueda en yeah. inglés. You need okay. to take vacations. You need to get a couple of days at least. Eh, yes. What about eh, Excuse me. Do you work on the weekend? And in my job is in very stressful because the uh, the activities is um is about the transport in international transport import export air and by sea. It's very interesting, but I think with the cuando pasamos mucho tiempo ya yo creo que después de 16 años ya en eso ya hoy sí me siento un poco agotada pero es bonito realmente yo creo que es bonito a pesar del cansancio eso quiero decirle cuando le digo que estoy exhausta porque sí me gusta mi trabajo lo disfruto pero sin embargo el cansancio a veces es bastante grande entonces hay momentos en que quiero tirar la toalla y digo no puedo porque tengo que ir a, a cumplir con mis responsabilidades y Bueno, y estoy emocionada por el curso, solo que a veces me siento un poco triste, teacher, porque en serio trato de entender, por ejemplo, el tema de hoy, me quedé así como que, wow, necesito repasar ese tema, porque tal vez para otros se puede facilitar un poco, y para mí no, este tema, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero sí estoy en el curso porque quiero, mi sueño es hablar bien inglés, y... participar en las reuniones del trabajo en inglés, actualmente lo hacemos, Y cuando hay reuniones que son en inglés, es mi jefe el intérprete, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo siempre participo, pero en español. Y mi sueño es que yo lo haga directamente, ¿verdad? Sin, sin intérprete. Entonces, eh, en eso estamos. Me gusta ser perseverante, pero la parte humana a veces cuando, wow, no entiendo, el reto para mí es más grande, el desafío es más grande, entonces tengo que ir a repasar. Vaya, acuérdese que hemos estado usando modas, ¿verdad? Y cada modal tiene más de un uso. Es lo que le explicaba yo ahora. Es, por ejemplo, en el caso de may o might, no importa cuál de los dos ocupe cuando se trata de possibility. Está hablando de las posibilidades. Se puede usar may o puede usar might porque significan exactamente lo mismo. No hay diferencia. Pero cuando está usando, está hablando de permission, no puede usar might. Ahí solo ocupa mí. Okay. Para allá las permissions son el can. El puede usar can en informal y may en formal. Ok, teacher, pero, pero might sí. no. Might, el único uso, este quizás es el único modal que solo tiene un uso, el might. Su único uso es possibility. Y aún ese lo comparte con me. Porque me lo puede usar para hablar de possibility y para hablar de permission. Si usted va a pedir permiso para hacer algo, ocupa me. ¿Verdad? Y si va a darle permiso a alguien de hacer algo, va a usar me. Pero si está hablando de posibilidades... Puede usar may o puede usar my. Ahí cualquiera de las dos, porque los dos tienen exactamente el mismo significado. Igual could. Para hablar posibil de posibilidades puede usar may, puede usar might o puede usar could. Okay. Por ejemplo, si usted me dice, I might eh, go shopping tomorrow. Yo podría ir a, de compras, ¿verdad? O I may go shopping tomorrow. Oh, I could go shopping tomorrow. Ya hay una posibilidad, no es 100% seguro, pero sí tiene un porcentaje de posibilidad de que lo vas a hacer. Es lo decimos, maybe, quizás. 
sí, no, sí. por ejemplo, es si usted se fijó, ahí había una palabra que decía perhaps. Sí, tal perhaps vez. significa tal vez. Sí, lo anoté cuando usted lo dijo, antes de que se me olvide. Uh -huh. Sí, ese significa tal vez. Entonces, cuando usted dice perhaps I will go shopping tomorrow. Tal vez voy a ir a... ¿Verdad? Igual que el maybe. Sí. Ajá. Entonces, pero el maybe no se ocupa en una oración, sino que como cuando yo le digo, will you go shopping tomorrow? Y usted me dice, maybe. O sea, sería como para una respuesta corta. Pero okay. si ya usted quiere usar perhaps, me va a decir, perhaps I will go shopping tomorrow. Entonces, tal vez, tal vez. Pero el perhaps sí lo puede ocupar en una oración. Mientras que el maybe no. ¿Y el maybe y el might son informales o simplemente es una sí. forma de...? May es formal y might también. Cuando Dios hablamos Dios de Dios posibilidades, Dios. no hay informal. Ah, ok, gracias. Será una duda. Hay might informal. Ahí puede usar cualquiera de los tres. May, might o could. De acuerdo, teacher. Yo sé que se nos suben los módulos anteriores con nosotros, pero igual me gustaría saber su opinión. Porque a veces hablamos y yo sé que a veces podemos pronunciar o no. Y a veces cuando no, no, bueno, la Alexa no me entiende alguna palabra, se la repito como 100 veces, pero entonces hasta que logro que el sonido, la palabra la, la comprenda. Uh -huh. Pero en su percepción, en su opinión, eh, ¿se escucha algunas palabras bien o no me doy a entender alguna vez? Claro que sí, claro que sí se da a entender bastante bien. Sí, porque a veces es miedo, teacher, más que quizás, o sea, yo sé que nos podemos equivocar en este, en este, en este módulo, ¿verdad? Nos podemos equivocar. Sí, Pero sí le agradezco cuando me, me, me pueda corregir y decirme, así no, Jessica, es así. O sea, yo no me enojo que me digan, así no es. Y me alegra su participación porque es bastante activo y eso es muy bueno. Porque cuando uno lo que quiere es aprender a hablar, no hay nada mejor que hablar, ¿verdad? Aunque se equivoque, ya sabes, si se equivocan, yo ahí le voy corrigiendo. ¿verdad? Sí, sí, gracias. Para Siempre que... dígame, así no, Jessica. Porque, es, okay. porque esa es la idea. Eh, lo triste es cuando poco hablan porque no se les puede corregir, ¿verdad? Mientras que cuando se sueltan a hablar, ay, usted no se preocupe que se entendió, que se entendió, que se equivocó. Eso es lo de menos. Hoy, porque okay. eso es parte del aprendizaje. Y en la medida en que ustedes se equivocan, se les puede corregir. Ok, pero sí le agradezco cuando, o sea, no se escuche, o por lo menos la idea es, se entiende. Yo le agradezco que me diga, así no, Jessica, lo puede decir de esta manera. Porque a veces quizá eh, cuesta quitarse, ya, ya poco a poco voy aprendiendo, quitarme el formato de traducir el español primero y después mm. hablarlo, mm. pero fíjese ahí va. que justo hoy entré cuando en un grupo le decían a unos compañeros, miren, métanse, pongan la frase que quieren decir en el Google Translator y... y, y y ahí les va a traducir y yo le y yo así ven no Entonces, es pero la teacher dice que no porque el asunto es que es mejor ir usando lo poquito que se vaya aprendiendo si poquito se aprendió poquito se va usando pero ese poquito se va agregando al repertorio y al se hace bastante a que si se acostumbra a ir traduciendo todo entonces eh, se complica eh, el el aprendizaje, pues, porque el cerebro no se va a acostumbrar a ir produciendo en inglés, sino que a ir de, de, tomando ese recurso que a la larga no hace bien. Sí, bueno. Y cuesta dejar ese formato. Créanme sí. que yo, yo lo intento, ¿verdad? Pero trato lo posible lo menos hoy de usarla. Pero sí me gusta usar el Alexa para las pronunciaciones. Por lo menos sí, pero ya hablarle en inglés, ¿verdad? Pronuncio una palabra y si ella la entiende, yo digo, ah, pues sí la entendieron. Sí, fíjense que puede usar un diccionario también online, que los diccionarios hoy, la ventaja de no tener el diccionario sí en papel, sino que de tenerlo online en forma virtual, es que usted puede perfectamente escribir la palabra que necesita saber, ya no la frase entera, sino que la palabra que necesita saber en el diccionario y ahí puede checar el significado, puede checar la pronunciación. Entonces eso les va ayudando en vez de, de hacerles retroceder, les hace adelantar porque van aprendiendo nuevas palabras, el significado y aparte también la pronunciación. Que tiene, 
de maestro. Por ahí les voy a compartir un diccionario en el chat de WhatsApp para que lo puedan ir utilizando. Ok, teacher, muchas gracias. Entonces, vaya, pues la dejo que vaya a descansar. Entonces, gracias, muy amable. Y see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye, teacher. See you.